Ed, the voters have decided and the nominees for several Tennessee positions are celebrating wins before looking ahead to the next battle in November. That's right. WBIR 10 News anchor Heather Walliga joins us live from Nashville with a look at the results. Good morning. Russell and Abby, good morning to you. It is the most expensive gubernatorial race in state history. The leading candidate spent more than $50 million on ads and it paid off for a couple. Here's a look at the results. In the GOP primary, Republican businessman Bill Lee took the nomination. The AP called the election for Lee just after 10 last night with 64% of precincts reporting. Lee got 37% of the vote, followed by East Tennessee businessman Randy Boyd, Diane Black, and Beth Harwell. Current Governor Bill Haslam congratulated Lee on his primary victory. We've got his full statement online right now at WBIR.com. And in his victory speech last night, Lee thanked voters for their support. I'm a man who, because of a great tragedy God used powerfully in my life to give me a perspective that the highest call is to serve. I'm a man who is not a politician, but I do have a vision for Tennessee to lead this nation. Ali says he's getting back on the road today in the RV he's been campaigning in. He plans to visit all 95 counties in the 95 days leading up to the November election. This fall, he will face Democrat Carl Dean in the race for governor. The former Nashville mayor defeated Craig Fitzhugh and Mezianne Vale Payne to win the Democratic primary. He's, here's what he said last night. I had to, when I was mayor, I had to work with everybody to move the city forward. That's what I want to do as governor. People of Tennessee want to see progress in their state. They don't want political parties bickering all the time. And the general election is set for November 6th. Coming up in the next half hour, we're going to talk about the congressional races, the results in that primary, and what they mean for Tennessee. Abby and Russell, back to you. All right. We appreciate it very much, Heather. And here's a look at the other races this morning in the race for U.S. Senate. It's now down to two candidates to replace Senator Bob Corker. As expected, Marsha Blackburn is the Republican nominee. She is current member of the House of Representatives and began her career in the Tennessee State Legislature. For the Democrats, Phil Bredesen won the primary. He served as Tennessee's governor from 2002 to 2010. This race is being closely watched nationally as Republicans hope to keep the majority control of the Senate. All right, here.